Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss an upload and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I thought we could talk a little bit about why I overshare so much. And I get told that I share too much publicly. My mom is against me talking about my mental health so publicly. And I just share whatever comes to mind. I don't really have a filter. There are some aspects of my trauma that I don't talk about because it's triggering for me and I imagine it'd be triggering for a lot of other people. But for me, I overshare for a few reasons. One, if it's public, no one can throw it against me. But yeah, I talk about my mental health very publicly, I talk about my physical health very publicly, I talk about... I literally vlog appointments. <laughs> my channel is my life. So everything I do gets shared on YouTube. I talk about abuse in psych wards, I talk about my suicide attempts. I talk about what goes on behind closed doors. I talk about how I'm doing. I talk about what I'm doing. There's not really a filter to what I talk about. And I think the reason I'm like that is because my mental health has affected me since I was 13 years old. I'm 26 now. That's 13 years of mental illness. It was mental illness. And what people consider to be taboo and private, I take the viewpoint that I want to be public about these things. Like I said, if I have it public already, no one can then throw it against me. That's why I post so many vlogs and I make so many videos, because it's genuinely something that well, it just it's just something that I feel like I should do. After all, I make videos because I know people are going through the same thing. And if it makes one person feel less alone, then I've done my job. Oversharing isn't a bad thing. Some people comment on my videos saying you need to seek help, not share on the internet. What they don't see is I have already sought professional help, I make videos to keep you guys updated and and for me to have an outlet. At the end of the day this is my channel, that's why I share what I share. But oversharing in my opinion isn't a bad thing. I think it's just something we all do in our own way. Like some comments that I get are really open and honest and even I think, wow, this person's been open. I say this all the time, I am an open book. Anything that goes on in my life, I can guarantee you are aware of. And honestly, I don't have any regrets. In my YouTube journey, I've made some mistakes. And that is what it is. I mean, I can't go back in time and not say what I've said. Lost friends because of how open I am. But I don't regret. I don't regret making YouTube videos. I don't regret being open. I don't regret sharing what I shared. Just an oversharer. And that's all I've got to say for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you're new, subscribe. See you in my next video. Peace.